Hi, my name is uh, Robert Medekshin. I'm president of Zabware, uh, developer of the UltraHowl chatbot. Uh, if I were to des describe to you an entity that has uh, many canned responses, doesn't always uh, answer questions directly, sometimes beats around the bush uh, when asked a tough question, or s seems to answer with something unrelated to the original question, uh, what do you think I'd be talking about? Oh. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> So yeah, I think I've discovered that chatbots have existed for mil millennia in the form of, of politicians. Uh, so let us compare uh, chatbots to politicians. Um, let me pick on some current candidates running for, for the US uh, presidential election. Uh, much like how chatbots have a, may have a database of canned responses, many politicians rehearse responses and memorize short sound bites they use to, to answer questions with. Uh, if they don't have a direct response to a question, they have a, uh, but have a sound bite uh, vaguely touching on the issue, they'll probably use that sound bite. Or like uh, chatbots sometimes do, they may go off on a diatribe completely unrelated to the question. And if you call them out on it, you might get a conversation like this uh, <laughs> between an interviewer and Mitt Romney. Um, here the interviewer asks Mitt uh, to talk about a misconception the public has about him. Uh, but Mitt answers with an unrelated spiel about restoring America's promise. Uh, the interviewer calls him out on it and answers with, uh, you get to ask the questions you want, I get to give the answers I want. And here's a very similar quote uh, from another candidate, Rick Perry, back in October. Uh, Rick Perry answers, all right, I understand that. Uh, you get to ask the questions and I get to answer like I want to. Uh, but anyway, based on these similarities between uh, chatbots and, and politicians, uh, I thought making a, a real chatbot that could answer questions like a politician uh, would uh, would be a, a fun project and a new way for voters to uh, learn about the different uh, positions the, the candidates running for, for office have. Uh, so I'd like to introduce to you a project Zawar has been working on called uh, Ask the Candidates 2012. Uh, Ask the Candidates 2012 is a site where uh, chatbots take the role of each of the current candidates running for office. Um, they're limited to only respond with the actual quote um, as spoken by their real life counterpart at some point in the past. Uh, and whenever they give a response, uh, the system like cites exactly where and when the actual quote came from. Uh, the premise behind the site is that visitors can stage their own presidential debate uh, where they can ask questions on topics important to them and they preside and moderate over the, the debate. Uh, they can have all the candidates respond to the same question or direct a question at only one or a couple of them. Uh, so that the site facilitates easy and direct access uh, to the positions each candidate has, ha has or has had um, on issues important to the visitor. The technology behind the site is based on uh, Zawar's UltraHowl chatbot technology. And I'm just going to give a real brief overview of what UltraHowl is. UltraHowl is a learning chatbot. Uh, its responses can be based on um, using traditional scripted responses uh, with pattern matching, um, but whenever possible, uh, most responses are based on a st statistical analysis of past conversations. Uh, UltraHow has a massive database of past conversations, currently about 6.2 million sentences and growing, and Hal tries to use these responses uh, when conversing uh, with a user. Uh, but when making the Ask the Candidates site, uh, the general mode of operation of the chatbot is, is the same. But the normal database HAL uses was completely thrown out. Um, instead, to get started, I loaded all the transcripts of the presidential debates thus far uh, into a database. So the original question the moderator asked in these debates, along with the answer each candidate gave, gave is uh, in this database. So now when a visitor asks a question, the UltraHowl engine tries to uh, find the most similar question uh, in its database and answers with the corresponding answer. Uh, I released this to a limited audience uh, a couple months ago. Uh, and, and the first feedback was a little disappointing. Um, the average visitor didn't ask questions anything like what were, was asked at the, at the debates. Furthermore, the normal UltraHowl database of 6.2 million sentences where it's likely to find a good hit somewhere there where this only had 2,600 quotes uh, between all the candidates. Um, so based on the conversation logs uh, I saw coming in, uh, I sat down and wrote additional like hundreds of pattern matching rules and uh, Google additional quotes uh, 
that could answer the, the questions. And based on uh, some of the initial conversations, I tried to break down uh, the conversational topics into categories. So I, I'm not sure how this uh, corresponds to the actual issues important to American voters, but I like to think it's uh, somewhat resembles it. So out of a, a sample of 14,000 sentences um, in these logs, the biggest category is the other category, uh, which just means I wasn't able to pigeonhole it into, into some category. Uh, but after that, the, the top um, category was questions about economy, jobs, or taxes. Uh, after that was just general hellos or goodbyes uh, to the bots. Uh, next were questions relating to uh, same-sex marriage or gay rights. Uh, after that was abortion or contraception related questions, followed by immigration, education, war, drugs, guns, healthcare, and, and religion. So I'd like to go ahead and, and uh, demo the site and maybe hit a few of these uh, questions in, in from these various categories. So here's the, the main page uh, of the site. Uh, you can uh, select what car uh, candidates you want to talk to here, so you can toggle them as many as you want, on or off. Uh, by default, it's selected all the ones that are still uh, haven't dropped out yet. Uh, let's see, and over on the statistics page, uh, you can uh, see what candidates are talked to the most. And currently, it looks like New Gingrich, followed by Obama, followed by Ron Paul, Santorum, Romney, and then all the ones who have uh, dropped out. Uh, but back on the main page, um, let's just start by uh, talking to um, Obama here, and I'll just say uh, hello. Okay, so you can see uh, Obama has responded, but we can easily uh, bring in um, any of the candidates at any point. So I'll bring in all the ones still running. So there's uh, Gingrich, Ron Paul. Romney and Santorum. Okay, so let's ask them a, a few questions. So one of the top categories was on the economy, so I'll just say, oops, how will you fix the economy? Okay, so here you can see all the candidates uh, weighing in on the issue. Uh, Gingrich talks about repealing Dodd-Frank. See, Obama talks about the financial crisis. Ron Paul talks about the credit rating. Okay, I'm not going to read them all to you, but uh, probably if you ask the same question a second time, it will try not to use the same response, though. Okay, and so another category was what same-sex marriage. So. Okay. So here you can see candidates' positions on, on this. It uh, looks like uh, Gingrich is against it. Uh, Obama would be OK with it. Ron Paul would, doesn't want the federal government involved at all. And Romney and Centorum are against it. Um, let's see. Let's see. What about abortion? So there's all their positions on that. Oh, and uh, another thing the system here is programmed to do is use the most recent quote that it thinks correctly answers a question. So like say in the, in the case of uh, Mitt Romney, this quote is currently against abortion, but in the past he was for it. Uh, but the system uses the most recent quote that it has. So it kind of protects the flip-flopping to give them or here, like in the case of Obama on certain issues, I was only able to find quotes from him uh, when he was a candidate from uh, four more years ago, things that Obama's president doesn't talk about. Uh, for example, I noticed a lot of um, uh, visitors asked about like drugs and, and marijuana, so I'll just I'll try that. Uh, 
should we? So yeah, here we see Newt's against legalization. Uh, Ron Paul thinks the federal government shouldn't be involved. Uh, Romney wants to continue the drug war. Um, Santorum. Santorum admits to smoking pot, but doesn't want you to, to do it. <laughs> um, but, but here, uh, Obama, you can see the uh, answer is actually from 2004, because I, I couldn't find any more recent quote. So it's actually him talking about uh, the war on drugs being a failure and about re thinking about decriminalization. Uh, so the system used that quote, but there wasn't a nor quote that I could find. So that's, that's what it responds with. Okay, I'll just do a couple more questions. Um, let's see. Do you like Obamacare? Kind of questions are in the other category. Can you just show us some examples of what questions appear in the other category? Um, I don't know. Well, if we go to the statistics page, you could see s some recent ones. I don't know if these fall into any. Um, education, maybe? I don't know. Or some was that? those include just a lot of conversational type of things. Yeah, or, or some of them were just like, um, why are you stupid, or yeah. <laughs> why do you hate America, or something like that. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of them were like attacking instead of asking like a, a question. Okay, well, that's a basic um, overview of the site. Um, it's still not finished. I'm still reading the logs and adding more quotes to the database. Um, I certainly appreciate it if you guys visit the site and ask uh, a few questions uh, so I can analyze the, the logs further. Um, I hope to market the site a little more aggressively in the, in the coming months. Uh, so I'd like to open up to any questions at, at this point. Yeah. When you're um, parsing the quotes, do you cluster on the sentences? Uh, what do you mean by, by cluster? In terms of, uh, of creating new topics and creating associations. Um, so it, I have the original question that's asked, um, or I might re reword it a few times, but it's the ultra how engine that tries to compare sentence similarity to, to figure out um, what, what question was the most similar to the one that, that was asked. And it does that on raw sentences, or there's some kind of pre-processing to that? Um, some pre-processing to fix like typos and stuff, but other than that, it's uh, pretty much uh, what they type. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oops. Um. Right. Um. Yeah, I just gave them that capability, and I didn't say what it's for, so it's whatever. <laughs> the visitor thinks it's for, so <coughs> I, I don't currently do anything about the information, but at some point in the future it might be interesting to, to look at it. <laughs>